Right, so I thought I'd make this little video on my new vinyl purchase since it's uh, it's probably a bootleg of Antichrist Superstar. Uh, sure looks like it. Either way, it's red vinyl. It look really cool. And uh, the cover art, the front looks good, I think. It. It's not uh, that um, it's not that bad actually. I think it looks uh, pretty good. I, I owned another uh, pressing, an original pressing of this record, and um, that I sold. So um, that one goes for a lot now, and this goes for around sixty pounds. So. That's quite a lot for a record too, I think, but the other one goes for around 300 now, so that's pretty insane. So uh, that's when you sell it. Um, the cool thing about the vinyl in all is that we got the Empty Sounds of Hate track that isn't on the, <laughs> uh, isn't on the CD, which is really cool. Uh, uh, it kind of is just uh, a distorted uh, voice uh, saying when all of your wishes are granted many of your dreams will be destroyed and that's a Nietzschean quote, a quote by Nietzsche. Uh, this is kind of odd that reflecting God and man that you fear is claimed to be the same in the same track. It isn't even in the same track on the vinyl so that was very cool. I don't really know why acoustic guitar Danny Loner got its way into here either. Um, it might be that he plays acoustic guitar on Man That You Fear. Either way it doesn't look very good does it? So that's a minus. If you look at the MCA Nothing uh, logotype, you can see that the MCA is a bit blurred here. Also goes for Pogo's head here kind of unsharp lines. I don't know if they are any better on the CD. It's probably just the CD that they've taken this from and uh, made it bigger and then it hasn't been able to look as good when it's been gotten bigger. You can see this on Mansell's head as well. Does not look very good. Uh, but if you're not gonna go into details like that, it's definitely a decent release. And I thought uh, the record sounded good. I think if you want the best sound, the best one I've heard is a vinyl rip of the Simply Vinyl <laughs> version of the record. I think that is second pressing or something like that. Then there's also a Hot Topic version that look, looks pretty cool, but that many people say doesn't sound good. But I don't really know what their preferences are. I, I suppose this is just uh, the CD Master as well, put on vinyl. But if you have a nice cartridge like I do, a gold ring, uh, 1022, that's gonna make a huge difference to how the record sounds and it's, I think it sounded good, I could crank it up, wasn't distorting or anything bad like that, it definitely sounds a bit better than the CD with a cartridge like that, so, um, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this buy actually. Um, I thought it was a bit much money when the quality of the cover was this bad, but um, and there are no lyrics. It's a cool sticker that was on it that I put in there. I like the fact that the vinyl is red, so I would give this like three stars out of five all in all, because the sound is to me a four at least. But the packaging could definitely need some work, so it's still cool to have a classic album like this on vinyl.